social thought in the rustic and pastoral life of the 30th decade in Iran's countryside lagged far behind its artistic flourishing. The 30th decade couldn't be counted as an appropriate basis for women to get involved in making art, at least in villages. Forced an early marriage, marriage with a law, pastoral farming life, and lack of feminine elegance were normal features of women's life of that era. But exceptions can still make miracles. It was into this brutal and ruthless world that the protagonist of our story was born. Then follow us to listen to the life of a woman who has risen from the ashes to become very prosperous. Having been born in 1928 in Dadi Kande, which was a small village in Mazandaran province of Iran. Her inner enthusiasm for creating pictures was revealed by her interest in playing with mud and dirt during her childhood, but didn't be emerged until her 67th birthday. The birth date of this rural unknown woman was simultaneous to the other famous people like Ennio Morricone, the Italian composer and conductor, or Che Guevara, an Argentinian revolutionary, physician and author, or even Noam Chomsky, the American linguistic and philosopher. Being unaware of the secret of their destiny in total non-cognizance of their power in mind, music, words and art they came into this world. At the age of 15, she gave in to a forced marriage with the Khan of the village, who had three wives before her. She surrendered to her bitter destiny, but that wasn't the main story of her life. What convinced us to read this woman's story was her modest ambition and docked persistence in painting despite of all those hardship. Besides doing house chores, she kept herself busy with midwifery, sing and makeup. But she had an inborn talent in making people up. Maybe that was a sign of the immortal fire of her genius. After her husband's death, her constant companion was a cow who was such a blessed relief from her deep trouble and suffering. When she grazed her, she poured her heart out to the cow. She talked about poverty. She talked about raising nine children. It wasn't an easy task. After a while, regular taking long paths raising the cow made her sick and her children decided without her knowledge to sell the cow. She was deeply affected by losing her cow and was quite overwhelmed by depression. She needed motivation to save her hopeless heart. Always had a passion for writing but she was illiterate. So she started painting. In absolute disbelief, with no knowledge of art, she started painting by using natural colors. She followed the voice inside her heart. One day, she took a simple and rough stone and colored it like a cow. Perhaps reminiscent of her lovely cow. No one cared about her significant innovation, but her youngest son took that artwork serious by showing it to his art teacher, and he uttered, artistic genius is going to be flourished. From then on, 
the incredible and intriguing story of Mukarram Qambari began. There was a lovely stream of painting that flows through her heart, like the stream of water in river. The whole house, including the walls, the doors, the oven and the fridge, was made up by her love. These inanimate objects tend to shoulder for her to cry on, to alleviate her pains and suffering. All of those arts sprang from her pure and noble inner. The only source of her inspiration was her pain and torture during all those past 67 years. Her artworks were full of lovely and bright colors. Like an infant who is eager to walk, she was greedy for art. A non-stop graciousness. She held her first exhibition in Tehran in 1995. The artist also participated in 10 other exhibitions. In 2001, she was awarded an honorary certificate at the Conference of the Foundation of Iranian Women's Studies in Stockholm, Sweden, and was named the year's exemplary woman. In addition, she was named the Female Painter of 2001 by the Swedish National Museum. Lots of artists from inside and outside of Iran welcomed and praised her noble and real art. To amazement of all her family and friends, she was flourishing continuously. An unknown rural woman with that difficult life now turned to a famous painter who is known by the whole world. It looks like a miracle, or it is better said, she was a miracle. A miracle that happened in total darkness. She lived Hamlet's to be or not to be. Maybe late, maybe far, she chose to survive forever. She caused her name to live after her, to live all the years that she didn't live, to flood with joy that her life didn't fill with, and to receive all love that she didn't get through her life. Her birth date was unknown, but now, at the age of 77, she was known by the whole world. She achieved her ambition in life. In October of 2005, her body left this world alone, but her name stayed there forever. She took the road that lasted 67 years, but finally taken over. If she could write, she would compose this poem by Robert Frost. Two roads diverge in a wooden eye. I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. <laughs> 